Hi, Caroline Carney here at Palais Arts, and I'm standing with the wonderful Gary Fournier, and we're in front of his piece, which will be in our Changeling show from now through November 20th. Gary, can you introduce us to your piece? Sure. Uh, I did this a couple of years ago, and it's a uh, palette knife uh, rendering of a, uh, win a fall scene, mm -hmm. and uh, I tried to uh, show depth and to use a lot of texture. I, I like to put a lot of texture in my pieces and using the palette knife it was really uh, kind of easy to do that. Mm -hmm. But uh, so it's just basically a, a simple winding road through the forest with uh, in the fall and uh, some leaves you know obviously on the ground. Mm -hmm. I used uh, this is done with Alkit which is a... Can you yeah, you're gonna explain it. Never mind. Well it's yeah it's a uh, I think it's a resin-based oil paint, mm -hmm. and it's quick drying. So that's one of the reasons I used it. Unfortunately, now with the fumes that are created, <laughs> I don't use it anymore because it's uh, too much for me to handle. So I use water-based uh, oils now yeah. rather than uh, basic standard oils. So uh, it's 11 by 14. It's not a huge piece, but and what's uh, the title of it? It's called Falling Leaves. Which is perfect. There you go. <laughs> I love, one of the things, every painting looks a little, or piece of art looks a little bit different from different perspectives, but the thing that's so interesting about this is, is that when you're far away, you notice what the painting, like you can observe what the painting is. Mm. When you get closer, your eyes are drawn by the texture. It has a very, like it has a mix of like, pointillism and impressionism in it that, right. I, that is really lovely. Right. Um, were you looking at anyone in particular, like any group of artists, were you looking at impressionists when you were doing this? I, I prefer impressionists. I've always tried to be an impressionist painter, but I, I always drift back toward realism for some reason. And this one, I stuck with it, I think. Yeah. So, uh... And it's lovely. <laughs> like uh, the other pieces I've seen by you, you always have a vivid color within them. Right. This is kind of interesting because it's all vivid colors and then it's accented by the blacks and the, yeah, yeah. the whites. Um, and it has really beautiful light. Right. Um, it exhibits all the change that we would want to see in a piece for a show like Changelings because you're not only changing, it's fall, which is the time of change. Right. You are changing, it looks different from different perspectives. You are changing the textures and things like that. So it's, it's really quite... Quite uh, perfect for this show. Thank you. Um, what, like, what do you want when you're thinking of this and approaching the canvas, um, and then you get to the finished piece? What are you hoping that the um, the viewer will take away? Well, I hope they'll they'll enjoy the texture number one because again, that's I love to do pieces with texture, mm -hmm. and to get that feeling of fall. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of lot more fall paintings than I do in the summer because of the color. Yeah. You know, summer is all green. Yeah. And yeah, there's flowers and so forth, but mm. I, it's too green for me. And there's a million greens and it's mm -hmm. hard to paint greens. So uh, fall gives you such an opportunity to really blow out some colors and to... Uh, and I kind of still dabble, you know, the grass and the green mm -hmm. wasn't quite gone in this one. So we're, we still got remnants of summer there, too. So mm -hmm. uh, so I just want people to be drawn into it and to get a feel for the fall and and the texture of it. Yeah. And I love that you've left room here for the person to enter and look down the path. Yeah. It's really quite, quite nice. Um, so we hope that you'll come see Gary's piece in our Changeling show from now through November 20th. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. Thanks.